Welcome to another Diacom information session. This session is brought to you by Renda Technologies and covers features of Diacom marine diagnostic software. These sessions are designed to give you a better understanding of the operation of Diacom software. Thank you for watching. In this video we will cover DTC or Diagnostic Trouble Code storage and retrieval from different types of ECMs. We will cover storage and retrieval from Mercury PCM ECM 555 modules, GM MEFI 1 through 4 modules, GM MEFI 5 and MEFI 6 modules, eControls serial ECMs, and eControls CAN based ECMs. First, we will cover Mercury PCM ECM 555 modules. When Diacom is actively connected to one of these modules and a DTC occurs, the trouble codes found indicator at the bottom of Diacom's screen will appear. When you click on the codes tab, there will be one or two general warning messages indicating that faults have been set in memory. Click on the read faults button to read faults. This checks ECM memory for active and inactive codes. This also brings up a dialog box that informs you that some active codes could be set by sensors that may not exist. This usually occurs when the transom sensor connector is unused by the boat builder. The transom sensor connector is located on the back of the engine and is used for non-engine related sensors such as trim position, steering angle, and pitot or vessel speed. See the engine service manual for more information. To retrieve engine RPM and fault histories, click on the history button, check mark the read fault and RPM history data box and click OK. It's important to note that this is also the dialog box used to erase fault and RPM history. Included in the fault history is up to 10 freeze frames for both active and inactive codes. Fault log data and engine runtime history are also located here. Please note that this is the only place that total engine hours can be viewed. To clear DTCs, click on the Erase Trouble Codes button and then click Yes. After clearing fault codes, be sure to go back and click the History button and Erase Fault Code History by checkmarking the Erase Fault History box and then clicking OK. Erasing RPM history does not erase total engine hours. It only erases the hours at different RPM ranges. Now let's cover MEFI 1, 2, 3, and 4 ECMs. When connecting to a MEFI 1, 2, 3, or 4 ECM, remember to select Mode 1. The Mode 0 data list does not contain the full set of diagnostic information and is intended for instrumentation use, such as helm display. If there are any fault codes, then once Diacom is connected to the engine, the Trouble Codes Found indicator will appear at the bottom of Diacom's screen. To read DTCs, click on the Codes tab. All active and stored fault codes will be displayed with a code number and the associated text for each code. Some faults, such as engine overheat and low oil pressure, have no code number. These are referred to as telltale indicators and are intended to inform the technician of a past event rather than a component or circuit failure. To erase fault codes, click on the Erase Trouble Codes button, then click Yes. All codes will be erased, but any codes that are still active will reappear in a few seconds. Any codes that reappear are active codes that need to be investigated. Now let's cover MEFI 5 and 6 ECMs. DTCs are read on these ECMs every time Diacom is linked to the ECM 
and also every time the codes tab is selected from another tab. Each code consists of an SPN or suspect parameter number followed by an FMI or failure mode identifier. To see a fault's associated FMI, click on the plus mark beside the fault. To retrieve freeze frame data, click on the text that says click here for freeze frame data. Freeze frames contain values for certain engine parameters that were read and stored at the moment the DTC set. This freeze frame data can be used to help reproduce the engine running conditions at the time the fault set if necessary. More fault history is available by clicking on the More Info button. This More Info includes the expanded diagnostic readiness list. Click on the plus mark to expand this list. The expanded diagnostic readiness list shows all of the engine related components that have not yet had their diagnostic test run and pass. SPNs will be cleared from this list after the ECM has run the components diagnostic test and confirmed proper operation. Also included in the More Info section is the Engine Operating Hour Histogram. This histogram includes total engine hours and hours operated in different operating ranges. To erase DTCs, click on the Erase Trouble Codes button and check mark both the Erase Active Trouble Codes and Erase Previously Active Trouble Codes buttons, then click OK. Erasing previously active codes does not zero the engine runtime histogram for the different RPM ranges. It also does not erase total engine hours. Now let's talk about eControls ECMs. The early modules use serial communications. These modules were used on Volvo Penta, Crusader, and Pleasurecraft engines. Please view the System Selection training video for stern drive engines for more information on when these ECMs were used. On these modules, Diacom does not continually check for DTCs. DTCs are read when initiating communications and are also checked and updated each time the Read Faults button is clicked on the Codes tab. All active and previously active faults will appear. In this example, code 1511 is currently active. Code 1635 occurred this key cycle but is no longer active. And code 0113 and 0129 occurred in previous key cycles. E-Control's newer modules are CAN-based and OBDM compliant. These modules are used on NMAR engines that have had their MEFI-5 ECMs replaced, NMAR engines using the NMAR 80-pin ECM, Volvo Penta engines 2008 and newer, 2008 and newer Pleasurecraft and Crusader engines sold in California, and Pleasure Craft and Crusader engines sold in the rest of the U.S. for the 2010 and newer calendar years. These ECMs are also used on all 2012 and newer Ilmore MV8 engines. Diacom reads DTCs on these modules as soon as Diacom links with the ECM. DTCs are also reread on these modules each time the Codes tab is selected from another tab. These codes also follow OBDM standards in that the reading of active codes, previously active codes, and pending codes are supported. Note that not all engine manufacturers use pending codes. Each code consists of an SPN or suspect parameter number followed by an FMI or failure mode identifier. 
To see a fault's associated FMI, click on the plus mark beside the fault. To see the freeze frame data, click on the line of text that reads click here for freeze frame data. Diacom then retrieves all available freeze frame and extended freeze frame data. The ECM stores freeze frame and extended freeze frame data for up to seven DTCs. DTCs that have attached freeze frame data will have a blue asterisk beside the SPN number. To see the extended freeze frame data, click on the plus mark beside the E in the yellow box. To change the text for all of the DTC information from graphical to pure text, click on the slash bar and question mark key on the keyboard. The parameter values in a freeze frame are the values recorded at the moment the DTC set. To change the text back to graphical text, click the slash bar question mark key on the keyboard again. To erase DTCs, click on the Erase Trouble Codes button. Check mark the Erase Previously Active Trouble Codes and Erase Active Trouble Codes boxes and then click OK. All other ECM information such as engine hour histogram and ECM calibration information are located over on the System Info tab. The engine hour histogram is non-erasable. The last ECM we will talk about today is the Ilmore MECU or Marine ECU. This ECM is used by Ilmore on their Generation 4 650 and 725 horsepower Viper engines. Diacom reads DTCs on these modules when Diacom is first linked to the ECM and each time the codes tab is selected from another tab. DTCs in this ECM are also OBDM compliant, so DTCs consist of an SPN or suspect parameter number and an FMI or failure mode identifier. To see the FMI for a DTC, click on the plus mark beside the DTC SPN number. The only other information available for each DTC is the number of times the fault has occurred. There is no freeze frame data available for DTCs in this ECM. Other information is available by clicking on the More Info button. Information such as calibration information and also active emissions related DTCs. The active trouble code list lists all active DTCs and the active emissions related DTC list tells which of those DTCs are emissions related. From this example we can see that SPN 168 is an active code but this DTC is not defined as being emissions related. To erase DTCs click on the Erase Trouble Codes button. Now check mark Active Trouble Codes and the Erase Previously Active Trouble Codes boxes and then click OK. On some engines the engine must be started and run above 500 RPM for 30 seconds or more for trouble codes to be cleared. Thank you for watching this edition of Rinda Technologies Diacom Marine Diagnostic Software Training.